This better be good. Cost enough. Hi guys, Mr. Bob Pepper here. So, today, as you can see, we have the PPSH and Call of Duty World War 2. Now, the reason I'm playing this right now is because PlayStation made this game free, so I'm just like, why not? And, I know I've been gone for like three weeks, but let's just not think about that. Let's just, let's just play some COD World War 2 with the PPSH 41. And I know I have missed a lot of information over the past month, like information about Call of Duty uh, Cold War, which is actually going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which I don't like the name, honestly, it, it's too long. Just Call of Duty Cold War would be a nice one, Call of Duty Cold War, a Black Ops story, you know, similar to like so Solo, Star Wars story, something like that. And I also missed the announcement of the Snyder Cut coming out, which over the next few months or so, I will be showing, sharing my thoughts on that, which I am extremely excited for. But yeah, let's just go play some, uh, I guess, TDM, and I'll see you guys in the match. All right, so here we are. We are playing on a on the Prologue Zombies map, which is Grostenhaus. I'm not sure how you say it. I'm not German. Dude, come on. And and wah, the PPSH was one of the best weapons in the entire game. But maybe not now. Come on. Dude, where are these people coming from? I legitimately can't see them. Like the snow on this map, it might be it might look cool, but I legitimately can't see anyone. Dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much hot doo-doo. And, uh... Yeah, I don't have any kills and I have four deaths already. And the enemies right now are just... Blocking us in our spawn. Which I don't appreciate. It's not nice. Finally! Dang. But one thing I do like about this game is that they re-added the, um... Whole dolphin diving thing from Black Ops 1. Which... I liked, but in Black Ops 1 it was a lot more flashy and like, like a legitimate dolphin on land going like, going like flying down five sets of stairs. But in this game it's a lot more realistic where someone, like let's say there was a grenade and they'd jump into the, the trench or something, right? That That's how they would do it. They wouldn't like go flashy and jump like five stories in the air. But so far I'm actually enjoying this game. Like. The supply drops are obviously not good. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, obviously supply drops are bad. And, you know, I hate them. But I actually am really enjoying the game itself. Like, I don't care about the supply drops, but the game itself is really nice. Campaign, uh, I'm not so fond of because they have a dude named Cap Sergeant Corona. Which is really funny. And, um, yeah. And the zombies, it's also not that good, but the multiplayer so far is pretty fun. So, yeah, I'll hopefully I'll see you guys in the next match. One thing I legitimately don't understand about this game is why there's, like, Russian and Japanese guns, even though there's only American versus uh, Germans in this game. Which is really weird. But I'm assuming this map is sort of supposed to be, like, a hijacked version but like it does not look like a hijacked but i mean it's on a boat so i'm guessing that's what they're, they were trying to go for and this iron sight is terrible i don't know why i selected it oh i just heard the grand ping which it's always really satisfying to hear it bruh what that was really weird oh they really nerfed this ppsh that's not good at all it's not like the World at War one, which was like one of the best weapons in the entire game. This is poo poo. So now to talk about some uh, new stuff, like um, 
Black Ops Cold War. And what that's going to be all about. I think it's going to be a fun game. Because it's going to be on the Modern Warfare engine. But, like, like all Treyarch games, they're going to make it more fast-paced. Uh, rather than more sluggish, like uh, Modern Warfare is. Which, I'm actually pretty happy for, because... I really, I really like the way that Modern Warfare looks. It looks absolutely stunning. It looks like something that would be on like the PS5, which Black Ops Cold War will be on the PS5. It's just that it might be delayed a little bit. So, but uh, in Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, there was a really, really, really cool little clip that Activision showed the day that people thought there was going to be like a huge live event. Maybe Warzone just was going to get nuked. Or maybe the dam was gonna get explode, but instead it was a little conference call between, uh, I think, Khaled Al Assad and Victor Zakaev, which I have seen both in the original Modern Warfare campaign. They were both, they were both like minor villains compared to Imran Zakaev, but in this game. People are thinking that Al Assad is actually Hadir, which if you don't, if you haven't played the campaign, then you probably don't know any of these names that I'm saying. But honestly, I'm pretty excited for what they're gonna do because it seems like Captain Price is gonna be the new operator, and one of the new weapons is gonna be the Galil. And well, the Galil is in Black Ops One, so that could be an entire hint for Call of Duty Cold War. I'm just gonna call it Call of Duty Cold War because Black Ops Cold War is just too much to say. And I don't know why, but every single Call of Duty that I've that I've played so far, like Black Ops 4, or the new ones that I've played, Black Ops 4, Call of Duty World War 2, and uh, Modern Warfare, I've always gotten the worst map first for some reason. It's so weird. Like, in Modern Warfare, I got Piccadilly on my first uh, map, and for Black Ops 4, I got, like, payload or something i don't know if that's like i don't even know the maps in that game but in this game i got gustav Kana as the first map which people said was like the worst thing in the game so i'm just a little bit weirded out that i've always gotten the worst map in the game first maybe it's a conspiracy maybe everyone does but it's really weird hey i'm number one somehow so now that we're in this map, this match, which will be the last one, I'm gonna be talking about the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, which I am extremely excited for because the original cut of Justice League made by the dude that made, I believe, Avengers. Um. Well, if you just go on Rotten Tomatoes, you'll you'll see the uh, the reviews. And um, yeah, if you just look at one clip in particular, which is. Superman versus everyone else. You'll see why people don't like that movie. Uh, one word, or actually two words, CGI mustache. But I am extremely excited for that because over on Twitter, Zack Snyder has been posting a bunch of pictures from the movie and like cut content like Black Suit Superman and Martian Manhunter was teased, which I am so excited for because this might this might be the thing that repairs the entirety of all of the Justice League franchise and everything that has to do with DC will probably be repaired with this movie. And now that we have a new Batman movie coming out with Robert Pattinson and whatever, instead of just instead of releasing that, my opinion is that they should release Flashpoint first, which if you don't know what that is, then Basically, Flash goes back in time to save his mom, but he, he accidentally goes into a different timeline where a lot of stuff is different, which leads to the New 52. So, if they if they decide to, like, make that Batman canon, then what they should do is make it so that Flash goes back in time, messes everything up, maybe after all the Justice League members die or something, because it said that this movie is going to be really, really dark and it's going to be like four hours long. Which, if it is, I'm, I'm all for it. Four hours, I will sit through that to watch a good movie. Dude, people, people are bad on this map for some reason. Maybe it's just me and I'm getting better. Or maybe it's legitimately like I'm getting good. 
Or these people just are bad. Why was that guy just running in circles? That dude's kind of weird. <laughs> About to destroy these people with my with my PO8. Oh no. Dude, what? Okay, that was just really, really weird. Let's try this again. Let's try to get a kill with the PO8. Hey, you know what? Never mind. But as soon as season four of Modern Warfare comes out, I will be grinding for the Galil if that is the new weapon, which it is, because there is literally you could see the gun and see how it sounds in the files, so it's gonna be the new thing. And once it comes out, I will definitely be telling you guys my opinion on it, and I'll be making a video on it. I know I haven't been, I haven't done that for the past seasons because, well. Honestly, I didn't want to make a video on it. I just wanted to try it, but the Galil I will definitely be giving it a nice try For all of you wondering what my next video will be it will most likely be either a modern warfare video if I decide to drag it out until season 4 or a Rambo medic video, which I'm sort of excited for because I like battlefield battlefields fun and but sometimes it can be really unforgiving especially if you're not good like me and you're more of a Call of Duty fan. Okay guys, so I have one question for you. So with the PPSH, you can't grab the barrel because that is going to be extraordinarily hot. However, there's a grip. But where would you put the grip? Because normally, most people, they hold it by either the magazine or they hold it where I'm going to put a little red air on the screen like right there but they have a grip somehow which how would they do that no clue <laughs> maybe they put it on the on the stock but that's really weird but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do whatever you'd like and i greatly appreciate it if you would like the video and you'd even more appreciate it if you'd watch it multiple times yeah i know i haven't asked that that's a new thing but I want to ask you guys that because if you enjoyed the video, do it. If you didn't, leave a dislike for all I care. But yeah, this has been Mr. Bell Pepper signing out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!